In this here, a bowl here, I've got just chopped salmon. That is 400 grams into there. Now, when you take off a lot of the fat, I'm trying to take a, uh, consciously take another bit of salt out of my diet and also fat. You don't need it to a certain extent. You have to box like quite slightly clever. Mm. So, as, as a binding agent here, rather than using uh, potato, I'm using egg whites, not the oak. You can put the oak in it. So, you're not putting potatoes in there? No, no. Oh, I'm okay. using egg white, a little bit of wholemeal flour. Yeah. Uh, probably about a couple of teaspoons, but one small tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Not too much, it was a go lumpy. And then when you actually cook the fish cakes, it becomes quite um, like pasty. Mm. Don't want that. That would just soak up some of the egg white and also the oil as it comes out of the fish. Uh, and one egg white goes a long, long way, yeah. as you'll see. You could probably get it with half an egg white. Now, I will add a bit of pepper. I always use ground pepper in these situations. I don't use cracked pepper unless I can see it. So in salads, on breads, okay. on pastry. It doesn't, it doesn't dissolve. Like granular Spreads salt. Spreads more evenly in yes. the flavour. Yeah, as you get like chunks of, mm. of, 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 of salt and pepper. Can I ask about Fire adding away. salt to food? Yes. We hardly ever cook with salt in our food. We yeah. prefer to salt it at the table. Right. Does that mean you use more? Or less salt? Depends on the individual. You like salt. I do. You do. And I would say uh, you like, you're above average on liking salt. You, you quite, I mean, for instance, you just looked at there, a couple of weeks ago, you put extra salt on. Yeah, and I did, salt I did, on a tomato I did actually is just, actually, uh, yes. I did actually just nick a tomato yes, in the break and, and dip it in the salt. And, and, I think if you're adding your own salt, that's up to you. However, years ago when I had a restaurant, I, took, I made a conscious decision not to use too much salt. I had a review in the local paper saying, oh, the chef's lost the salt pot. And I had um, more complaints. Really? So I went back to cooking normally. Yeah, yeah. The, the problem is with chefs is that they, they taste a little tiny bit. They don't taste the whole dish. Mm. Right. You eat a whole dish, invariably, it's over-salted. That's because they use a lot of granular salt. Okay. Anyway, so it, with that in mind, I've taken out salt completely out of this and I'm using mustard. Mm -hmm. Now, I did a lot of research for years ago for the Scottish Government on replacing salt with other things. And I say you can take out 50% out of your diet and not notice it. After that, you will. So you need to box a bit clever. So things like mustard, mm -hmm. acids like vinegar mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, juices like lemon juice, lime juice, always helped to mask the flavour of, of, of taking salt right, out. Yeah, okay. A pip there. So I will put half... Um, Half a, uh, a lemon there. And also herbs, soft herbs. So dill I always like works dill. well. I love dill. It works really well with salmon. Underused. It is underused. It is, but, but also a lot of people don't like it. It's very polarising. So it's not that easy to buy. It's not. They always never have dill. They always run out, probably. Always yeah, run out, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I would have they didn't so. bring enough of it in. No, exactly. And, and, and that's... It looks very kind of Scandinavian. It now does. Well, we're having dill to it as well. Now, it's got a little touch more flour to that, because that needs just a little bit in there. And what you do is mould those into little tiny cakes into a hot pan. You can see, if I do add a pinch of salt, and I'm only going to show this purely to show you, that will react with the egg white. And if you leave that for a couple of minutes, it tightens it up. It reacts with the egg white. Uh, so it'll tighten it even further. Uh, that's it, in a good way. Yes, it does. But you can see that even there, look, how that's tightened that up there. Yeah. Okay. So I make the little so tiny patties. Them together. I'm, only, I'm not touching, it's going to wash my hands. Into a frying pan, and the little ones here. And you'll see that you can undercook them. I'm going to love this. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Ollie, you love it, don't you? Undercook them and leave them slightly pink because the natural oils will come out of the fish and keep the fish cake moist. Yum. If you don't, it ends up becoming quite dry. See, the thing is, it doesn't do any harm to undercook. You could eat that out of there, couldn't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Even now, with the egg. It's interesting. We had this discussion before we come on egg. Well, of course you're fine. Can I try All it? eggs now are stamped from England. You Can I eat can. it? Yeah. All eggs are stamped with a lion stamp mark, which means they're vaccinated from salmon and free. I want to eat it like that. Our yes. eggs are safe now, aren't they? Yes, of course they are. And the point being is, from, this, oh. from the UK, not from necessarily from all of Europe, but certainly from the UK. Mm. But that, on its own, is delicious. Imagine that. But if you half cook that, the oils come out and it keeps it really juicy. toast. You're oh, delicious. A little bit of sour cream. Yeah, don't okay. bother to cook that. Anyway, I'll eat this. So now, I'll cook this one now, in this pan here, I've got some tomatoes that I've literally just on cooked. The on the vine. On the vine, lovely. A little touch of vinegar. Again, no salt. So we'll just a little touch of vinegar. What does the vinegar do? That just brings out the sweetness of the tomato mm. as well and balances it. Now, over here, here's a dressing. But natural yoghurt, oh, it's up to you. Again, no salt whatsoever. You can a little touch of vinegar if you want. Seed mustard. Lots of chopped dill. You've got one over there. So what you're doing all the time is masking flavours, and that's what it's all this about. Is really lovely. Now, also, all this is for under ten pounds, so you can feed four people for ten pounds. Now, really, really little good. tiny fish cakes we've got here. Lovely. And how many? Two per person. Two per person, or you can make one large one. You can make a big pan one like a bulb and squeak and cut it in wedges. Oh, nice. It's really up to you. But you'll find that you will actually end up. Um, uh, overcooking it slightly, so be very, very careful. What I want you to How long did you cook those on each side? Sorry, I would no. say about uh, two to three minutes, no longer. 
It doesn't, doesn't need to be there. And do you have to let them rest? You've got about a minute left now. Yes, you do, because they're warm up. So you can have... Carry on, honey. Well, I'm going to put these on here. Look, tomatoes as well on top of there. Look at that. You can smell the vinegar in there, actually. Yes. Now, the good thing also is <coughs> you can make them up, freeze them, and cook them straight from the freezer as well, which is a good thing. So, again, no potato. I actually developed this for a di mm. diabetic recipe book, so mm. you know, you're cutting out salt, you're cutting a carbohydrate, which is none at all. That's yeah, absolutely Protein, lovely. Which is high. That is no so one. delicious. A, a one tablespoon to cook it in. Can and I save some for my lunch? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> Did I know that was coming? There you go, Mr. Schofield. That is so <laughs> delicious. I love that. They're, they're really lovely, Phil. They don't need salt. Would you, sorry, would you freeze them from raw? Yeah, freeze them from raw. Freeze them. freeze them from raw. Cook them straight out of the freezer. Okay, fine. There you go. Mm. Amazing. Thank delicious. you so much. Thank, Thank you. These tomatoes are lovely from the vine as well, yeah, aren't they? Just simple I didn't cooking. try tomato. Can you taste the vinegar? I'll taste one for you. Oh. Again, oh. that'll cut the riches of the salmon, so you're, all you're doing is masking flavours all the time. Will you save me some for my lunch? Of course I can. I'll Thank cook you. it fresh for you. There you go. He's right, it does bring the sweetness out. Amazing. Thank you. Thank Beautiful. You. Thank, Thank you, Phil.